Good evening, this is Kevin speaking. Hey, Kevin, it's Seth. What are you doing? I got a question for you. What is it? Well, um, all this time that we've been trying to get Kat in trouble for all the things she does wrong, you kept telling me to document everything. I got fired for documenting. <laughs> That's specifically the reason they fired me. I'd have to talk to him about that. Well, I mean, you were sitting right there. She said she was firing me for taking pictures of stuff the staff did, and that's what you told me to do. Okay. All right. All right. I'll have to talk to her. All right. I'll shout at, I'll shout at her tomorrow. All right. Let me know. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Really? Really, though? I'm about to get fired. Huh? I'm about to get fired. Why? I don't know. They, Kevin called uh, Quentin in to cook tonight. Said it's an emergency. I'm, I'm the cook tonight. Why would he call him in on his day off to cook? Yeah. Big smile before you fire me? <laughs> Do I come upstairs? About to get fired, aren't I? <laughs> Want to come upstairs? Why oh, are you laughing? Huh? I hope that's just a nervous laugh and not. My union delegate up there? Oh, yeah. Okay. Can I still use you as a reference? Oh, absolutely. Thanks. <laughs> you know that. No, I guess I need to check oh, that out. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I don't know anything about that. Hi, Seth. How are you? Oh, fantastic. I suppose no, we're not here for you to apologize for that last meeting, huh? No, um, unfortunately, we're here because we are going to separate today. Okay. And why is that? Um, due to creating a hostile work environment. How okay. so? Uh, I, I think you know what's going on. I it's think gotten worse with taking some pictures. And pictures. The team is upset with you taking pictures. Of. Okay. Uh, you're going to tell me what I'm doing before you I fire me. You. No, you're not telling me. You're saying you're not going to tell me. So please, as I'm much as you can you give me. I've created a hostile work environment, taking pictures of things the employees are doing, trying to catch them and things they're doing. That's what Sean them. does to me. Okay. That's what Sean, Sean, by example, has been doing that since he started. He taught me to do that. Well, we're not supposed to be taking pictures. Well, then why does Sean take pictures? I've seen he's taken pictures of everything I've done, L notes I've written. Uh, uh, the hotline. So if Sean can do it, why can't I do it? And we'll address that. Okay, that's not supposed to be happening. Well, but, but how would I know that if I see Sean doing it, and if I've sent Kevin and okay, Sean those so pictures? We're not going to get into a big argument. No, we are because you're firing me for bullshit. Seth, you have created a hostile. False. Not false. Okay. I have tried that's to get. Your opinion. No, you know from our conversation that we have a cook who refuses to put gloves on when she preps raw chicken, who refuses to temp the chicken, who takes These me... These are all things we are going to address and take When? Care of I've been that. trying to do it for, for 18 months. And who's this guy? This is Chris. He's part of our loss prevention. Loss prevention? What's that have to do with this? He, he's here just for security purposes. Ah, okay. Yeah. Fantastic. I thought my union delegate was... No. He's not my union delegate. Yeah, He's we, we've talked to Chad. Chad's uh -huh. aware of what's going on today, so he asked Bill to step in and be so here. So this is my Weingarten rights? I don't. I can't you call? Have the, you have the right to make a form of grievance with Chad, and he fully expects... I understand from the Weingarten, I have the right to have Chad here, don't I? You can call Chad and file a grievance. But I thought I had a right to have him at the meeting. Well, that's well, why I'm here. Okay, so that covers that base. But this okay. is really not a meeting. This is to let you know. That okay, but I'd like more. Great. But you got to give me more reasons. So I, because I I'm took pictures. You, I'm telling you, it's because of, of the pic. Work because of the pictures. Bottom line, hostile work environment has been 
created. Okay. Created. Your team is uncomfortable. I'm not going to go into any more. You know what's going on. Well, we're going to court, so I want you to say as much that as you can. Yeah. Fun. That is totally yeah. fine. Because we okay. both know that the real reason this is happening is because I reported line, your undercooked chicken. Bottom line, the decision's been made. Okay. Okay. Fantastic. So we have a no trespass for our property. This includes all of our stores as well as corporate. I can't shop at the Pleasant Hill. That is correct. Our stores, we have a no trespass for you to sign, okay? <laughs> you can refuse to sign if you want to. Wow. I mean, that's my, that. it's the only grocery store in my town. Seth, this is typical procedure. To not be able to shop at any store? I've never heard of that. Okay, the decision's been made. We okay. need to sign the no trespass. So if you want to refuse it, that's fine. Okay. And then we're going then to what? lock you out, okay? Okay, well, I still have my mattress up here. Can I get that? Yeah, yeah, any of your stuff. Just yeah, like grab any of your stuff that you've okay. got. Can I get a copy of that? You absolutely may, as soon as you sign it. Um, or if you want to refuse to sign it. You can refuse to sign it. Okay, that's fine. <sighs> For taking pictures, that's fantastic. I mean, I was wondering what you gin up. I mean, you. I, Said management multiple things, like I said. Yes, me trying to get people to do their jobs because no one else did. Okay. I mean, you understand that. That's Dwight's job, bottom line. That's well, Dwight's well, job. But we, he, has He's he done it? Manager. Has he done it, though? Okay, well, we're not going to get into a conversation here at this point. Okay, I'm just trying to get okay. as much I, as I can out of you. Okay, just, well, that's all I'm going to give you. It's all right, to make. fantastic. Okay. And, and, and Chris is going to walk out with you. Okay. We're going to grab your stuff. Okay. And uh, I'll be carrying Aaron as a witness. She did your job much better than you do. Just free. Nice knowing you. Hey, buddy. It's been nice working with everybody. Y'all take care of yourself. Bye now. Just got fired. All the way to my car, or are you good? I'm good. Have a great night. Fantastic. And that's how you get fired from that place. Hello. Hey, Sean. Hello, sir. So it's weird that I just got fired for taking pictures of the things my staff has done wrong, considering how many times I've seen you take pictures of things that to document them. How can, come you can do it and I can't? But I mean, you've done it. You've taken everything of of paperwork to to you know a, a, a dirty pan on the line. You take pictures of it. Okay. Correct. Yep. Okay. So I take pictures of things my staff does wrong to document it, and that was the reason I was just given for them firing me. I did not know that. Yeah. Did you know I was getting fired today, though? I'm assuming. Okay, but was there another reason you were given if you weren't told about... I was given no reason whatsoever. <laughs> you were just told that... So who made the decision then? I'm not sure, sir. But it wasn't through the, your department? Or, well, not... I, I was just informed of it. By HR? I was just informed of it. Okay. That's about all I could say. Okay, well, um, I'm going to be calling everyone as a witness, I guess, because, I mean, this is ridiculous. I was clearly discriminated against because I was a whistleblower about undercooking chicken. I mean, clearly, this made up charges are, I mean, this is ridiculous. If you can take pictures and no one's ever told me I can't take pictures and I've been doing it for a year, that's a weird reason to fire me, right? I'm not, I'm not here to make judgment on any of that, sir. Alright, well you have a nice day now. Let's talk about the real reason I was fired. Well, I reached out to the head of operations for the company. Dear John Stanzi, it has come to my attention that the new Delhi director, Michael Duncan, is threatening to fire me for working overtime. You were the one who originally gave the order that I stay until 2 in the morning, if that's what it takes, to keep our deli shelves full. I'm being threatened with termination, despite... In Incredible call-ins. We had eight shifts call-in sick in one week. I knew since he gave the order that he would do something to protect my job. But then I included a PS that changed everything. 
Attached to this message is a photograph I took earlier in the week of a bloody chicken leg. It was properly prepped and cooked a full 14 minutes. Multiple thighs, breasts from the same batch were temping at 180, yet the leg bled all over the pan. It is worth noting that 20 minutes is the standard cook time for fried chicken worldwide. Cooking for 13 to 14 minutes, as the attached picture shows, is literally playing Russian roulette with our customers' lives. That is a piece of chicken bleeding all over the pan because our new method of cooking fried chicken requires us to cook it for 13 to 14 minutes instead of 20. Because the new powder that we dip it in doesn't last for 20 minutes in the fryer, it burns. Because of this, because of me including this PS, all hell broke loose. They sent a big wig from HR out to talk to me, and I explained to her how it's ridiculous to cook chicken for only 14 minutes, that we're literally playing Russian roulette with our customers' lives. And I followed up with this email. In it, I included this picture of a piece of chicken temping at 129 degrees. Cooked chicken temps at 165 degrees. And I explained what happened. A chicken breast temping at 129 degrees after 15 minutes and 30 seconds in the fryer. The first two pieces I temped were over 165, but I kept temping and found an anomaly temping 36 degrees below temp. I had to redrop three pieces from that batch and decided upon two things. Now I cook all of my fried chicken for a full 16 minutes and I temp all large pieces. As a matter of conscience, I will continue to do so. This is really the only way to protect against serving undercooked chicken to our customers. The problem is that company policy is that you cook chicken for 13 to 14 minutes. Sean one day came in and saw 16 minutes set on the fryer and he said, I don't wanna see this on 16 when I come in. I get that you guys are doing it, but I need to see that at 14 when I walk in. How insane is this? We are required to undercook chicken. And I raised an alarm, and all hell broke loose. They changed policy slightly, just enough. They had a whole new paperwork that we have to do where we have to temp one piece of chicken from every batch. And that piece, if it temps, we serve the batch. If it doesn't temp, then we redrop. The problem is, you don't know which piece of chicken's going to be under-tempt. So it's literally Russian roulette. And by pointing this out... Well, yeah. yeah. What the fuck? Yep. And I, I just got called Sean and got him on tape admitting that he takes pictures of stuff on the line and that I've seen him do it. And he didn't know that that was why they were firing me, but that was the only reason she gave me was I created a ho hostile work environment by taking pictures of things the employees have done. Which is weird because that happened before our last meeting. So... Did they go to her later, or did she hold on to this, or I don't know what it was. But they just, I, and I'm, I'm not just fired, I'm banned from all the properties. I can't shop at the Price Chopper in Pleasant Hill. What? Yep, banned from all their properties. How, well, how can they do that? What, on what grounds? What? Yeah, they said, she said that's standard. She said that's standard. I refused to sign it, so she just wrote refused and gave me the paper. They had two security guards escort me out of the building. And I'm not allowed on any property owned by Cosentinos. And I told her, I said, that's the only grocery store in my town. She goes, that's not my problem. So I'm going to lawyers, to say the very least. Because this is, this is absurd. I mean, I literally was doing the job I was hired to do. I mean, all I have to do is call Barb as a witness, or and if she won't do it, call Dana as a witness. Yeah, at the interview, she, Seth was told he's supposed to be the enforcer. And then I do the enforcing, and the, 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 the bitch just told me in the meeting, she says, uh, you know, I told her, I said, she said, you hot, creating a hostile work environment. I'm like, I was doing my job. I, we have a, 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 a employee who won't put gloves on when she preps chicken and I start going in the list of things Kat does she goes well that's Dwight's job I'm like no that's our job and I was doing my part in doing it she goes well you've been creating a hostile work environment so we're separating the how did she phrase it set we're separating the I don't know what she said but 
<laughs> they don't use the word fire. Just we're separating the the the. I don't know what the fuck she's saying. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Poor Kevin. I, I actually feel bad for Kevin because he met me and he's laughing and giggling like he does when he gets nervous. I'm like, but I knew what was coming because Quentin texted me and goes, why'd they call me in? Are you sick? What's going on? And I'm like, oh, fuck. So I knew I was, you know, the whole ride over here. So when Kevin met me, I'm like, why are you laughing before you fire me? And he, I'm like, and he, he couldn't, he didn't, he did, he just, he's like, we just got to go upstairs. I'm like, can I use you as a reference? He goes, yes, of course. And I said, I, I, I know that you're laughing because you're nervous. <laughs> and we go upstairs and my union rep couldn't even be bothered to come, although apparently he had been notified. But uh, Bill was there, the guy from the meat department. It was Bill, the security guard that I've never seen before from loss prevention who was there to escort me out. There were two of them. One waited downstairs in case I flipped out. The other one sat in the meeting. Oh, my God. And they walked me the I, fuck out of the building. I'm so fucking done. I'm so fucking done. Oh, yeah, me too. <laughs> fuck. I got such a lawsuit against these motherfuckers. Because I've been documenting everything. I mean, I've recorded all the meetings with her. I mean, the, the idea that I can be fired for trying to get people to follow basic health codes. That's what I'm doing. And I mean, and I kept trying to get her to say more. Like, well, what else did I do? She goes, creating a hostile work environment. I'm like, just because I was took pictures? She goes, that's all I'm going to say. And I didn't want to tell her I was taping it because she would have flipped out. So I was just trying to get her to give me more. That's all she'd say. And then I called Sean and taped that conversation and got him to say, got him to admit that he's coming and taking pictures of everything from paperwork to, to dirty pans. He's like, uh-huh. I'm like, so you have done that, correct? He goes, yes. I'm like, yes, thank you. Because, <laughs> I mean, because I, and, and, and remember, I did that about th three weeks ago with uh, Jerome. I took pictures of the, the, the food that he refused to use. In front of him, yeah. But that was three. Weeks. That was before our last meeting. So she either deliberately played this out, or the staff just went to her with new information. And, and oh, he's taking pictures of us too. Not even of us, of things we do. Like, how is that not my job? If my job is not to be able to yell at them, then isn't my job to be able to document it so you and Kevin can yell at them? Right. Yeah, I mean, I don't understand the whole, the, the, the union contract has no, I mean, that. Well, that, she didn't bring that, that part was, up. She didn't bring that up. I wasn't fired for, for, for violating that. I was fired for, quote, unquote, creating a hostile work environment. My staff does not feel safe with me in the department because of the things I've done, apparently, to try to get them to do their job correctly. You got, you got to file for unemployment, right? Oh, yeah. I, I mean, I don't know if the company's going to fight it or if I'm going to get it or... Uh, they, probably, they probably will, but I mean... But on what grounds? Like, I mean, for God's sakes. Like, I've documented everything. <sighs> And I and I can show that I've been sending pictures of I've been taking pictures of things since the beginning, and Sean just admitted he does too. So how would I know that that is? Why is that a problem? So I can say I can get Sean fired for taking pictures of that paperwork that time I vented on the paperwork. Is that all I have to do? Is get he takes, he takes pictures every time he does his little store walk. Yeah. Department. So how would I not know that was wrong? It's fun. The meeting started off pretty funny because I walked it. I walked in. I sat down. I looked her right in the eye. I'm like, I don't suppose you're here to apologize for how bad that last meeting went. That's funny. She's like, No, I'm here to terminate the. What is the phrase? Terminate the relationship or something? I don't even. Yeah. Sever the tie between. Yeah. Sever. We're, I'm here to sever the relation. Our relationship. So you're breaking up with me. You. Wow. Well, man, I, I, I don't even know what, I, I, I want to apologize, but it's, I mean, it's not my fault. 
Yeah, I know. I, I appreciate that. Well, I mean, I may have to call you as a witness. I mean, if this goes to court, and I, I can't imagine that it will because they're known to be big-time settlers. And once they realize how much I've got on them, like, mm -hmm. that, you know, this was me literally desperately trying to get a staff to, to behave and to not break huge health code violations. I mean, I can't imagine it's going to actually go to court, but if it does, I'm calling you, I'm calling Barb, I'm calling Dana, I'm calling fucking, I got a list. But be careful, because that staff now, man, they're going to be happy. They got me fired. That morning crew, that fucking morning crew got, they did it, man. They they got me fired. Anyway, I guess I got to get off the property because uh, I'm barred, I guess, from the parking lots. But I'm just calling you for my car. Or you called me. I was still in my car. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, hey, uh, keep in touch with me, man. I, you know, I enjoyed working with you. And yeah, no. I, I, I certainly enjoyed your company, and I, I would, you know, I would... I would like to keep you as a friend. Yeah, definitely, man. I, this was the best manager relationship I've ever had. We got we we complemented each other's strengths and weaknesses perfectly. I thought we run the. I'm sorry, you. I'm sorry, you had to be the enforcer. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I I didn't mind. I just wish they'd let me fucking do it. Like I don't understand if that was why I was here, why they wouldn't just let me do it. They let me do it before. I mean, I wrote up Anna. I wrote up uh, Kiera, and no one ever said, "Hey, you can't do that." And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, <laughs> and nobody seems to know. I mean, that's weird. Yeah. All right, man. Well, uh, take care. I'll, I'll, I'll definitely talk to you later. Yeah, let me know. My, like, you need my help spinning, honestly, just call man. I appreciate it. Let me know when you give your two weeks. I'm curious to, end up, to know where you end up. If, they, if they're hiring, I mean, let me I know. Mean, I, I mean, I give my two weeks. I'm not just, I mean, I told I told them earlier, I mean, I didn't find out about your situation until about 1.15. Wow. And Sean, and Sean said, because uh, when he told me, he thought I was going to be, he, for some reason, thought I was going to be uh, elated or happy or something like that. What? I, said, uh, I told him, right, first thing I said, I said, this is bullshit. I said, uh, uh, said you, you, you guys uh, don't like him because he's outspoken. And he'll call you on stuff that you don't like, and you know he gets he gets a little bit of overtime, which you guys don't like to see. But he's one of the hardest working guys I've got in that deli, and you guys are getting rid of him. I said I, I, I'm so pissed off right now. I said I was going to get my two weeks, but I don't know. I got to make a decision. I, I mean, I think I'm done now. Well, I wouldn't. Don't screw yourself, because that makes. I mean, that means you can't use them as a reference. It means it. it I I would. I mean, give your two weeks. I'd. I'd work the two weeks just to protect yourself. I mean, the only one that gets screwed if you walk out early is you. I mean, I mean, I know, I know the sentiment, but I, I, if I were you, I wouldn't burn that. I'd, I'd work that entire thing just to, just to cover your own ass. Because it comes back. I mean, you apply for a next job, and they're gonna say he just walked out, and that's gonna make it difficult to get another job. If you do the two week thing. You you cut you're covered. Yeah, I could write up a short notice. Short notice resignation. What's that? That's about a week. You can do that. So short notice went in. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even know that was well, a thing. I, mean, I don't know. I kind of I looked it up when I was was uh, right in mine. Uh, I wrote a. I wrote a short one that wasn't, it was kind of short and sweet to the point, uh, but it was my, it was my two week, but they said, honestly, the, the short notice one could be a week. Huh. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do, fuck it. Yeah. But, I don't know. I mean, I. All I, I know is I'm definitely done with that place. <laughs> yeah. All right, so well. My, my last two weeks are going to be, uh, they didn't work out of me at all. <laughs> <laughs> well. All right, man. All right, well, take care of yourself. Keep in touch, and uh, I'll talk to you soon, man. Okay. Take care.